extra time. Can you talk about your love for cricket? Yeah, well, I think my love of cricket developed about 50 years ago. Uh, when, and I, uh, I, I travelled to England, and a friend of mine was very interested in, in going to Lords and the Oval, and I started going to Lords and the Oval and really enjoying the atmosphere there. So, um, I think as a child I listened to cricket, but I never went. Well, I might have gone once or twice to Eden Park in Auckland when I was at school, but I, I never really went until I was in my mid-twenties, early thirties, and then I started going a lot. And when I came back to live in Wellington in 1975, I started coming to the Basin Reserve. And I've been co coming to the Basin Reserve ever since. So Alan, how did you make out the, from the noise? How did you mm, to, to, to get a feel of the match made for this um... Well, there's three, three main aspects to it for, for me. Firstly, like hearing the bat hit the ball, and we can, as we're talking, we can hear just down to the right of us, we can hear bat hit and ball when they're practicing. And then there's the, co the radio commentary, which is very, very important. And then there's the crowd, the, what, what, uh, what the crowd tells you and the feeling of the, the people around you, and that's always good. So um, there's, there's, there's a lot to make you enjoy the game. So how, well, how long have you been coming to the Basin Reserve? Uh, since about 1975, wow. when, I, when I came back from England. And what, what has been your most memorable matter here at the Basin? Well, I was here when Richard Hadley got his 300 wickets and I was here when um, Brendan McCallum got his 300 runs. Uh, so that, those were very memorable occasions. But there was one game I remember, I came with my brother and um, Indian won the game in the last over and it was very exciting. It was a very, very good game. Uh, so, you know, there's been very, very memorable games here. Alan, just one last thing, obviously. How do you manage to make out your seat number? Because you, are, you almost literally came all the way alone. How do you manage to do this? Well, I uh, sometimes travel by bus and sometimes travel by taxi or Uber. Um, but I, I know the game and of course, I usually sit in this position in, in, the, um, in the front row. And that's um, something I've done for I suppose over 40 years I come and sit in this position and it's a very good position to sit in. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.